Okay, so we are back. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is doing a four stops overexposure test between the Ursa Mini Pro G2 and the Red Scarlet Dragon. First off, thank you guys for downloading these footages and uploading them on YouTube and Instagram and sending me the link because that's really cool for me just to see what you guys are doing with these stuff because I'm always curious to see how others are color correcting and grading these footage because obviously I suck. But back to this video, we are doing, like I said, an overexposure test between the two cameras. And I do apologize for not being able to match these two cameras frame by frame, uh, composition by composition because the Red Scarlet Dragon does sit a little bit higher than the Ursa Mini Pro G2. So the field of view and the composition was really, really hard to match. So you will see some black bars in this video. So talking about these two footage, uh, in my opinion, the Ursa Mini Pro G2 really, really excels in getting details in the highlights more. But if you look at these recovered versions of the overexposed image, you're gonna see that the Red Scarlet Dragon does a really good job uh, keeping detail on skin tones. It's absolutely amazing. In the mid-tones, you can really see more details than the Ursa Mini Pro G2. So what's the key takeaway? The Ursa Mini Pro G2 does really good job in the skies, in the highlights, but the Red Scarlet Dragon does an amazing job at recovering the mid-tones, the face area. So go ahead guys and download the footage in the comments below and I will see you guys later.